Hi, my name is Simon. I'm an engineer with Polyson. Today I'm going to show you the flexibility of Polyson Designer. What you see here is an SRCC system diagram which I chose from our general database. This system I want to modify in a way so I can add a second collector field. This can be done in the designer mode with these toolbars in the middle here. To start though, I select the collector here, left click, left click into this design area and add it here. In order to get a little bit more space, I select all, move a bit to the right, deselect and then move this collector up here so we have some more space to design. As a next step, I choose a pump from the list, put a pump in here. I'm going to have to connect the return, collect return into the same heat exchanger here. I can do by selecting a T piece, add a T piece here. I'm going to need another T piece down here for the um, collector inlet. With double clicking on a bolt port here, I can open a junction. I'll open this by left clicking on one port and left clicking on the other port I can close it. So I'm going to connect the top part to um, this side of the T piece and the other collector field right here. The same thing I'll do with the pump, connect with left click, break a connection here, move it a bit up here, then with right click on a component I can flip it, rotate, I left click, left click, connect it here, and here. So that was easy. I'm almost done with designing the system. Before I start running the simulation, I designed this a bit nicer so it looks good. I can just left click on a component I, or in a pipe and move it around while keeping the mouse button on hold. I move this a bit up here, make another bend in here, right here. Okay, it looks a lot better. Then, another step before I run the simulation, I define this collector field. So, here we have got a collector from the North American database, a flat plate collector, good quality. Okay, I want to have two collectors facing east, and I want to have another two collectors facing west. Okay, so it's two collectors. Then we're all set. The right part of the system I don't need to modify, it's still the same. What you can see here in the middle, there's a lot more toolbars or components. Let's say there's a heat exchanger. I could replace, for example, um, internal immersed heat exchangers with flat plate heat exchangers. I can set new tanks, three-way valve, T pieces. I can add um, heat pumps, buildings, space heating loop, pool, and so on. So I'm totally flexible in what kind of system I want to design. Once I have designed my system and set all the controllers, I'll go on the result, result overview, run the simulation. And while it's running through the whole year, 365 days of the year, some advantages of it. So the advantage is that we have designed system diagram exactly as it is in reality. So all the results and the behavior of the system is exactly as designed. And when it comes to sales, when I'm going to print the results report, which I'm going to do right now, close here, say results, professional report, PDF, So this is the report. On the report you can nicely see that it prints the system on it as we we actually designed it. Definitely a good sales argument in front of the house owner. We can show him that you ran a simulation for this specific system. And then comes the rest which is standard with a map section, in this case San Francisco, who was the producer of the report and the solar fraction and all kind of results through. The advantage of the Polyson Designer is that you can actually design the system um, the exact same way as you build it in reality. So 
when we talk about large commercial systems there is up, um, often no way around to actually do a precise simulation and a precise design of the system to get accurate results and when it's about small residential systems it's um, uh, it's definitely a sales argument if you can design the system exactly as you build and sell them. And once you have designed the system, it doesn't mean you do this each time before running a simulation. You do it once, design all the systems you have in your sortiment, and then save them as a project. And the next time you start it, you can just select the system diagram, run a quick simulation, and it will take you no more to no more than five minutes to create a beautiful, nice sales report with your system included.